Hey guys, what's going on? B McG here, and today we have war number four and war number five all in one video. In war number four, I only took uh, two fights, I believe. Uh, we'll see when we review the footage. Um, kind of put this one uh, in the back of my mind. Um, only took two fights, and I didn't want to make another two fight uh, war video. So I figured I'd just throw this in with the next war, which is war five. So yeah, we're gonna have two wars in this video. So we're going up path three in uh, both sections. And my attackers are Mole Man, CGR, and Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic's only here for pre-fights. Um, I was going to try to see if I could do this fight against uh, Yellow Jacket with CGR, but um, Mole Man's just a safer option and you don't really have to think when using Mole Man against Yellow Jacket here. And I didn't really feel like thinking. Uh, so I, I didn't go for any duels or anything to try to figure out if CGR would work here. Um, but yeah, uh, I like Mole Man, but uh, sometimes with his unstoppable on his block, I have a lot of issues pairing with him for some reason. Um, right there. Um, I, I don't know why I did that. The uh, take a block hit and then uh, use the special too. Um, but here we get some nice little intercepts and we finish the fight. So mole man OP or mole God OP. <laughs> um, so I took a screenshot for a potential thumbnail picture. And then, uh, next up we have, uh, guillotine 2099 on node 32. Uh, so this is pretty much just a super easy cosmic ghost rider fight. So I had some uh, power boosts or whatever uh, expiring. They're in the overflow, so um, opted to use them here. Uh, they're not needed, of course, but uh, they make the fight a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty much going into this fight, doing the uh, Manash rotation, uh, heavy to start. Um, Right there, I uh, that was a mistake. I should have just uh, tried to get another parry in, but um, you know it is what it is. The heavy, I shouldn't have launched that, but um, yeah, I should have punished her uh, double medium or second medium into my block there. But you know it is what it is. But fight's pretty much over here because we got a special three, and yeah, CGR is OP. <laughs> so yeah. Um, solid uh war number four for me i guess uh two fights plus some pre-fights right in my wheelhouse always fun um you guys are gonna see some pre-fight action here to end um i'm pretty sure we won this war i can't remember off the top of my head i don't really feel like going back and looking um i'm pretty sure we won um you know i am gonna go back and look <laughs> i want to make sure i get this right yeah, so I just checked and we did win this war. We won by quite a lot, actually. Um, I think we had 18 uh, defender kills at one point when I looked during this war. Now it's all coming back to me now that I know that we won. Um, but yeah, I didn't check to see the score when I went back and looked. But yeah, next up we have war number five. My attack team is Apocalypse, Cable, and Guardian. And... Um, I have three fights this war. We're going up path eight in section one, and the first fight is Hyperion. And uh, you guys are gonna see how strong Apocalypse is with the power down tactic. He's actually pretty, pretty awesome for it. So um, he has to be fully ramped at max genetic code to make this super viable. And then, uh, yeah, you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about in a second. Um, so I went for the Invuln boost just in case he got to a special 3. You guys will quickly, uh, quickly see that's not needed. And then I used the 12% uh, special damage booster or whatever. Just to get some extra damage out of my specials. Because uh, I'm not going to be getting to my special 2. I'm just going to be using my special 1s. So I want as much damage as I could out of my special 1s when I launch them. But we do a 5 hit combo here ending in a light attack. And then we just need to get... Another opening, we punish the uh, special one. Five hit combo ending with a medium, and we have withers. And now we'll just keep alternating uh, combo enders, and we'll constantly shut down Hyperion. 
So I thought this was a pretty awesome fight, and I really love this attack tactic when you when you can actually use it. Uh, I don't see a lot of people actually planning around it, but it's 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 a nice to have because like the plan here for this fight originally was just tank specials with apocalypse and use the invuln boost to do so, and yeah, that would have worked. But this just this is just so much cooler, <laughs> and it works very well. The only thing that sucks is it's just a little bit of a slower fight. It's about a minute and 10 seconds, I think, at the end. Uh, so, yeah, it was a fun fight. But, uh, yeah, Hyperion down. So, next up, we're going up Path 5. And this is after the Global Node is down because there was a Maw on Footloose. And we didn't want to deal with him uh, with High Ground. So, uh, yeah, we just, you know, boss rushed almost. And... Yeah, I pretty much got to my fights when there was like 16 hours left. So I had like all day, to, <laughs> all night, and then a little bit of the day, the next day to do my fights if I wanted to. Yeah, 15 hours and uh, 48 minutes. So um, yeah, we pretty much rushed through this map. Uh, but we have uh, Mole Man here on the first note on Path 5. Um this is pretty much just a standard apocalypse fight. Just be careful of Sadist. Uh, the increased attack rating he gets for the debuffs I put on him. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is a very safe fight with apocalypse. One man can't shrug his uh, shrug his debuffs. So I can parry whenever I want. I can uh, heavy whenever I want. Uh, gotta be careful of the uh, ebb and flow intercept protection. Um, wait, no, he doesn't shrug off uh, debuffs from that. Uh, silly me. Because um, it's Apocalypse. <laughs> but um, I boosted decently big for this. Uh, just because I didn't want to think. Um, when I'm not getting a lot of fights, I want to make sure I get these fights down without any issues. So yeah, we get a nice little intercept there. Then we launch the special two. We're back to uh, just under two bars of power. And we're going to launch this while we have a little bit of that Passive Fury left. Uh, sucks these last three hits weren't affected by it, but it is what it is. Um, we're just going to get... Um, I tried to get a little light intercept there, but Mole Man didn't want to play into me. So we'll just refresh the, uh, the special two debuffs and then apply the special one debuffs as well. And yeah, this fight should be pretty much over at this point. We get the intercept going. Uh, I could have went for another one there, but I just wanted to be safe, get a parry in, finish with a special one. Safe fight. Apocalypse is a decent character. He's a really decent champ. <laughs> and next up, we have Kitty on the second node on path five. Um, what are the nodes? Evan Flow Intercept and Mighty Charge one. So pretty straightforward fight, but I, I complicate things a little bit, which... Um, you know, it's typical for me. So beta heavy attack, you know, looking good. Um, try to go for a light intercept. She doesn't want to play into it. It's fine. Whatever. Um, we get a medium intercept here, getting her, uh, or catching her medium. And then we get our special one off to build enough force fuel charges. So now we can pretty much build our special two and launch that while we have the fury passive from Evan flow intercept. And it should be easy game easy life but um you guys can see here that kitty's not throwing her special so i tried to shallow dex a little bit which means i dex early so um when her dash ends she's closer to me than she normally would be um which would make her throw a special more or make her want to throw a special more but it didn't work she clipped me and then i didn't realize or i forgot about the burst damage when heading into her phase so that looked that was really stupid on my part but yeah, one special two will finish her off. Um, not the cleanest fight ever, but it is what it is. But we ended up winning this war as well. So war number four war no, uh, and war number five were both wins. So super happy to see us pulling these out. But that's going to do it for me, guys. If you did enjoy, consider hitting like. Consider subscribing. If you already subbed, you know I love you. I'll see you guys for the next video or stream. Peace out.